Greetings, welcome back to Fable 3. We're trying to Oh god, I'm okay, I'll kill them by my my own blade. Instead of using the magic one. Ah! Okay. Just die already. Oh my god, they're so annoying sometimes. Okay. We are trying to get our castle back from Logan. Oh no 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 Oh, just die, please. Um. Okay, I'm pretty sure we should have something like at least 10 so let's get back to our rifle and really I will where are you going? I will go to morning wood to get them yes, it will be easier a lot easier than trying to do it right now I love his reactions. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we? Yeah, although I don't quite remember where there. Definitely through there. Okay. Oh, that's a whole lot easier than trying to deal with them. Magic. Give me a second, okay? I have a feeling there's something up here. My feeling whoa was horribly wrong. Really? Can I open this? Why would you put an open door, open house? Thank you. Now let's keep moving. This is not the end. Stay away, Dougie. Kill some of them, please. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. I don't think Kaylin's gonna be able to blow this one up. Look, it's Paige. Let's go. Paylin was supposed to open doors for kids. Come on, we're not far from the castle now. We'll meet up with her there. Shut up, then. There's more of them. They go through here. Well, I can definitely kill him. 
Oh, I can go like this. Is he? Okay, where the hell did they go? Oh, yeah, they're, they're still here. Okay, so where should I go? Do, do you want me to jump down? I don't think I... No, I cannot jump down there, so... We were right the first time. I'm supposed to go like this. Or not. Guys, I'm lost! Do I have to go down there? No, I... There's no way I'm able to get down there. You guys are not helping. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go that way. There has to be something I can open. Oh, Oran house was blue open. Oh, I have to be careful. So I don't blow up that. If I blew that up, I would, would be f I would be fined for killing innocent people. Really, it happened to me. And my alignment went down. Come on, move, page. Oh, good job. I know, right? Okay. That was closer than I feel comfortable. What I need to find a way past right now is through this house. <laughs> All way to the Okay. What we need are explosives. But I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny crazy old man and enjoyed blowing things up. Did you see that order? Let the whole city bow to our thunder. Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kaelin's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Boulder. There's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Yeah. Let's finish Oop. this for good. While I can still stand up on my own. Lead the way. All the way to the castle. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. You finally become the man I always wanted you to be. He's a lot more than that, and now he's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. 
Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cowl behind ignorance if you will, but my brother deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. Hi. Made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to Hobson. Hobson's the name, your majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, your majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial, of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful king is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. Judge Logan, former King of Albion, set tax policy, talk to River and Boroughstone Industrial, consider a proposal to rebuild the Boroughstone Old Quarter. Okay. I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, your majesty. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I... I, will, I try to open the wrong door. Of course, I'm already getting lost. Is there a book for me? No. I don't really like this ambient. Am I going the right way? No, it looks like a bedroom. It is a bedroom, and I'm. Hmm. Actually curious whether I, whether I can find something here. Rat, please, please stop that. Oh, there's something. Can that kill me? 
Am I only safe from a death by natural causes? And what about fertility? Will I be able to have children 10,000 years from now? I might actually need longer than eternity to answer these. Oh, -ho. you brought it down on yourself. King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I says, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true, if it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. You have the power over life and death, brother. Now choose. Of course you know what I'm gonna do. You saw my face, right? You saw how shiny and beautiful it is? Fate is in your hands. This is not the time for revenge. We need your help, Logan. The king has made his decision. Logan's life will be spared. He actually seemed relieved. So once, remember? Of course I do. But what matters now is that we defend our land. The castle is yours, and so is the throne. I'm glad to be rid of them. And all you had to do was talk to me, and not only Teresa. You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are king. You can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Oh, I already know it's gonna be attacked. Logan told me. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. 
All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler. But understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises, to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated. This path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced, and be the hero that can stand against it. He had five years to get where he was. Why do I get only one year? That's awful. Okay, and we need one hundred, whoa, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred and eighty. Because I think the other one also counts as this one. So we need a total of three hundred and eighty guild seals. It's not impossible, and I'm well, really, and I really want to see it done. So get ready for that. <laughs> 380. Okay. Oh. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could without living through it first. We need to prepare. If we can't stop the attack from happening, we have to be ready when it comes. Having Logan's troops on our side is a good start. But you will need to raise a fortune to pay for the army we'll need. Hobson will show you the treasury. And I'm sure he can explain just how to fill it. Indeed I can. Okay. Then I will leave you to it. Ben and I will begin recruiting and training soldiers at once. Lead the way. Follow me, your majesty. Oh, how I have looked forward to this moment. This is it. Albion's royal treasury. The store of the kingdom's total wealth. It's, well, not as um, replete as one would like, but just imagine this room shimmering with hills, valleys, and plateaus of gold. A topography of riches going all the way up to the ceiling. Go on. It will require nothing less to build this army everyone is talking about. Which brings us to the second item on today's agenda, and one I'm personally very excited about. Setting the tax rate for the coming year. As you probably know, your brother was taxing the people rather heavily, and some say that this has led to poverty, starvation, and other societal ills. You have three clear choices, Your Majesty. One, lower the tax rate, which one could argue would help the poor and the hungry, but would also leave the treasury in a miserable state. Two, maintain Logan's policies. Not a popular move with the people, but moderately popular with the treasury. And three, and don't let my enthusiasm influence you in any way. It won't. Don't worry. Raise the taxes even further. True, many will suffer in the short term, but we will be able to protect the kingdom and run our fingertips over vast amounts of gold <laughs> in this very room what will it be can i behead you of course i'm gonna lower the taxes very well your majesty well how very noble yes i suppose noble is the word how very noble of you thank you the people are no doubt dancing in the streets and we are bankrupt. 
You will need to be more ruthless if you wish to save the kingdom, your majesty. There are other, less salubrious means of filling the treasury, of course. You may donate your own gold, should you have enough. Though I must say, such charity is unheard of. Clearly. However you decide to proceed, you should acquaint yourself with the royal ledger. It is a logbook that allows the reigning monarch to make deposits and withdrawals from the treasury. A most useful financial tool. But my, look at the time. You really ought to attend to the next item on today's agenda. Okay, I'll do that in a second. a most intriguing proposal for you in Bowerstone Industrial. Now I know you have had your differences, but it is time to put those behind you and work together. Nobody can raise money like Reva can, I assure you. Oh, I have seen his right. appearance among the populace is well publicized. So expect a crowd. Oh no, I thought I can... Okay, I have nearly enough gold, so... I don't want to go there just yet. I cannot tell you what joy it brings me to see you crowned really? king at last. I served proudly under your father when he sat on the throne, and I will continue to serve you to the best of my ability. But becoming a ruler does not mean you cease to be a hero. That is why I... Oh, sorry. I thought it won't... Interrupt. Okay, do I have any quests? No, so I guess I have to do... I'm afraid your property was irreparably damaged during the battle. God damn it, it's not enough just yet. As as you can see, if you don't spend your money, there's a golden key. Up here. So you have to keep on making more gold. I have arranged the room to store your yeah, yeah, I know, thank you. Thank you very much, Jasper. Okay, let's... I guess we have to go on with that day of ruling. Then we will be free to go on our quests, I hope. Don't tempt me, Weaver. Oh, happy day! His Majesty, the King of Albion, graces us with his radiant presence. I knew last time we met that you would emerge victorious from such public sibling rivalry. And now, here I am to assist you in filling your coffers till they are fit to burst. What better way to begin your reign than by reinstating one of my most successful policies? There is no greater waste than the idleness of our city's youth. But my employment scheme guarantees children of all ages will have something to occupy them, whilst ensuring our factories are properly manned. That's... it's just monstrous. Don't listen to him. You promised you would end child labor. Remember that promise now. And what would you have us do with the snotty little indigents? The only way Bowerstone is going to climb out of the gutter is through education. Nothing is more important to our future than that. Turn this factory into a school. Give the children of this city the chance they never had. A school? Well, that's an original thought. Well, if you'd like to be known as a pauper monarch, then by all means, listen to her. Reva Industries will abide by your decision. The factory will become a school. Way too good for those people. This will be an Albion worth fighting for. I shall begin the necessary modifications at once. Okay, I was actually worried for a while there because we had zero gold. <laughs> Okay. Is it true that little red wagon? Oh wow! Hello! Hooray! I can't see the hero. 
Am I free now or not yet? Yes, I'm free now. But there's nothing new for me to do. Hey. Actually, there is something for us to do. It's fast and it doesn't require too much attention. All we have to do is... Well, first of all, kill, th kill those guys. Okay, it doesn't matter. I forgot to check <laughs> whether it worked. Oh my god. Those hops look creepy. They really. Oh my god, they really do. Okay. Hello? Open up. called Andrew, but after him, it's me. The secret I bear is as secure now as it was when it was entrusted to me many thousands of years ago. Uh, it's actually more secure now than it was then, because even I don't know it. Well, this is a bit embarrassing. I, I, I'm going to go now. If I remember it, I'll give you a holler. Okay. Open up. Thank you. Unfortunately, I'm pretty 100% sure we won't be able to get all of them open. That's so pretty. I like those demon door locations. They're always so calm, so pretty. This is a message. It is a very important message. A message meant only for royal eyes. <clears throat> this is the message. You are about to read it. I'm not stalling, really. The message is... Oh, look! I hate it. I really do, I... The message is... Oh, look, I'm running out of space. Just have some gold. Well, thank you. Is it enough to... I will be checking it. Yes. Nope. I just want to take this. Did I take it? Okay. The lectern contains a record of all your recent. Transfer to treasury. Continue. And that's gonna take a while. So, be right back. This will be the last thing we do today. Okay, I just transferred all of my gold to the treasury. And if I remember correctly, there it is. Yeah, you can say that. And what do we have here? The sw swinging sword and some wolf. And, and a lot of tattoos. Okay. That's gonna be it for now. Stay alive and see you soon.